about it. I didn't even film it. There we go. What's up, Nightwalkers? I've got a really good video for you guys today. This is a review of, as you can see, a PVS-14, but this one's got Vitanus Echo White Phosphor. So this is a new one for me, and by that I mean having a Gen 2 device. You know, I've always blown off Gen 2 just from really bad past experiences using it. And uh, when I saw Fatanas come to the U.S. market, it was no different. And what really turned me off even more to the Gen 2 stuff and the Fatanas Gen 2 stuff was some of the marketing terminology that they use, such as 4G, you know, and talk about out of band, you know, light, light scene, light gathering capabilities, all this kind of stuff. It just sounded like marketing hype, which, uh, which turned me off. And so I blew it off. But what really piqued my interest uh, since the last last few months really but over the last year I've been paying more attention to it is just seeing um, you know even new or experienced users posting some pretty good results they've had with these echo tubes and uh, or and, and some have gotten intens and just real quick what the difference is is intens that's the full mil spec version of the echo tube and all the echo tube is uh, those are fallouts from the intens line so you know, military contracts are certain specs they have to hit. And uh, if a certain intense tube, you know, fails to meet the spec from, you know, the halo is too big or whatever it is, it turns into an echo that they can sell commercially. And so that's what these echoes are. Uh, but anyways, what it piqued my interest was, you know, just seeing new and experienced users post good stuff on them. And uh, when once night vision devices started selling these and carrying them, and I believe they're the official distributor for their 16 millimeter tubes, which those are kind of a special use type tube, but uh, that really made me uh, pay attention to it. And initially I thought maybe they were just trying to cash in on, uh, if these are popular, they want to make some money off of it versus losing Gen 3 sales. Um, so, you know, I made some calls, talked to some people um, in the industry and not in the industry, just users, and the results are probably 50-50. You know, half of them saying it, it works really good. Uh, it, works, it, it works very similar to Gen 3 or as good. And then the other 50 saying it's not as good or don't waste your money. And so the only way you're going to know for yourself, and I strongly believe this, is just to get my hands on one and actually look through it and develop my own opinions and go from there. So I got this one from Robert Henry at JRH Enterprises. Uh, it's his company. You know, in the past I'd gotten my stuff directly from Night Vision Devices, but yeah, one thing Robert was doing that was pretty, pretty good for customers is, uh, you know, he's, he's a vendor on a real popular Night Vision forum. And uh, there's some stuff going on between, you know, how well these Gen 2 Echoes and White Phosphor compared to Gen 3 White Phosphor. So what he was doing is on every one he sold, he was listing the specs for him. And almost all the specs he was listing were better than the, the specs on my Gen 3 HP Pluses. So that really, you know, that at that point made me want to call him up or, or get a hold of him. So after talking to Robert, you know, he, you know, he was pretty honest. He told me that I, I might like my Gen 3. In fact, he felt pretty strongly I might like my Gen 3 better than this thing. Um, but he did say, look, if you're looking to get white phosphor, this is probably the best way to go because it's a lot less money than something like an L3 or a Harris and white phosphor and that these still work pretty decent. So, you know, seeing how I wanted to check out white phosphor and I want to see what this Fatanus, you know, Gen 2 Echo stuff was all about. It was kind of a two for one. So I gave my credit card and it shipped out the very next day, you know, and here it is in my hands for me to tell you all about it. So I'm not going to go over the device itself, like functionality, whatever. It's PVS-14, you know, it's pretty basic, oop, cow pies. And, but what I'm going to do is walk around and show you uh, some of the locations I'll be filming in tonight once it gets dark with the night vision. This way you can see what it looks like during daylight and then compare it to uh, later on once we're using night vision. So here's one of the first ones. Uh, and here we keep a bunch of extra stuff, but it works really good looking in here at night because it's darker inside so you can kind of see how night vision works seeing into a dark environment from a brighter one. So here's the next spot. I actually haven't walked through this spot yet, but this would be a good idea, a good representation of how it looks. Moving through some vegetation and stuff like that so you can see the different shadows and whatnot. Uh, tonight's a pretty bright moon, so there's going to be direct overhead moonlight. So I'll do the best I can to find some spots where you get some mixed lighting conditions. So this is that same shot I showed you earlier of uh, the building with the stuff inside of it. Uh, so as we started to film this, the uh, the wife she she spotted this this rabbit out here uh, behind these bushes and pointed out. I thought it'd be a pretty good thing if I get on the video so you guys can see what a small animal looks like on this echo white phosphor. And you know there it goes hopping away. And uh, yeah, pretty good little catch there uh, from the wife. I'm glad I could add it here to the video so you can check it out. Can I leave it on? 
Got to. So coming back to the building, you know, there's the same mm -hmm. view. Uh, the wife's going to put some infrared light into it so you can see how it looks now uh, brighter. And then back off again so you can see how it looks with the white phosphor echo uh, with no IR loom shine into it. Pretty good deal. And there's that shot earlier going through the, the trees and the, and the plants. Now the moon is straight overhead and it's just beaming right down. So you're not going to get as many shadows and stuff as you would on uh, on a night where there's not as much moon, but it still gives you a good idea on how well this white phosphor does picking out through vegetation and movement and stuff like that. Now this shot, um, basically just panning across the, uh, the sky. I'm using the Canon, not the iPhone on this one, but you know, it's bright moonlight. You're not going to see the stars as well, but I think this really shows you um, how well the white phosphor and the echo does looking up into the sky. So to wrap up this video, I'll have to say that this Gen 2 Photonis Echo and White Phosphor, that this tube performs very well. I mean, as you can see from the videos, you know, the clarity and everything else on it, I mean, it's just, uh, it's really outstanding. You know, tonight, it's a, uh, it's a pretty bright moon, three-quarter moon. So a lot of things are going to look pretty good. But, you know, I was initially, I was going to compare the HP Pluses uh, from my BMVDs over here to the Echo. But after, you know, just looking through the eyepiece and, and through the camera lens, you know, there's just no reason to do it. To be honest with you, the, uh, the Echo on a night like tonight uh, is far superior looking than the, uh, than the HP Pluses are in, in green phosphor, just the way it is. Uh, where the HP Pluses stand out better is on, in a really low light environment. Like about a, about a couple weeks ago, I had one of those. And uh, I will say the HP Pluses were brighter in a low light environment. And so in those kinds of conditions, you know, I do think the Gen 3 HP Pluses perform better than the Echoes. Um, but as you can see, you know, these, this thing does really good. Um, and at the beginning of the video, I mentioned there's two things I wanted to do. One of them was, you know, see what these, these Echoes were about. And then the second one was seeing how uh, White Foster performed and if that's something I really liked. You know, and on both of those fronts, I'll have to say, I learned that these, this Gen 2 Photonis uh, is very good. So all the stuff, all my... Uh, Opinions about Gen 2, you know, at least when it comes to the Photonis, I was completely wrong about that. I'll have to admit that. And then when it comes to white phosphor, I like white phosphor. I think it's better on the eyes. Um, I do think it helps with these night vision intensified tubes uh, better than green phosphor. You know, and if you're looking to buy one of these, if you get an Echo white phosphor, decent specs on it, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, I'd recommend GRH, but really anybody, anybody that's going to have one of these in decent specs, is the way to go. You know, with JRH, you do get the 10 year warranty through night vision devices. So that's a nice touch to that. So thanks for watching this review video. You know, we hope you enjoyed it and you learned something about these Gen 2 Photonuses. I for sure know we did. Uh, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest stuff that we do. And thanks for watching the video. Surprise, motherfucker.